Well, uh, good afternoon, uh, Noah, and uh, thank you for granting us uh, the access to, to your ship today, and uh, which is a, a live uh, floating ship yes, docking right. at the Phnom Penh Autonomous yes, Port. Right, right. Uh, so, your ship, uh, Dulas Hope, has yeah. been docking here since uh, June 5th, is that correct? Uh, correct. So, yeah. thank you so much. Good afternoon. Yes. Thank you for interviewing me. Yeah, we've been in uh, Phnom Penh Autonomous Port for a week and a half now, almost two weeks. Mm -hmm. We'll be here for three more weeks, until July 2nd. Uh, yes, Noah. So, you know, for the last uh, 10 days or uh, something like that, um, yeah. so how, how is the guest coming uh, to your ship so far? Like, um, you know, are there many children? Are there many foreigners? Something like that? Yeah, so during the weekdays, our ship is, is not too busy, mm -hmm. especially the weekends are very mm -hmm. busy. So we have uh, classes, schools uh, come and visit us. Mm -hmm. We have uh, young people, adults, university students. Uh, we have also books for all kinds of people, so everybody's welcome to come. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the big crowds come. To our ship, and we're very excited to meet all of you. So, also many, many elderly, uh, you know, senior people yeah. also come to the ship. Senior, yes, senior kids, families. Mm -hmm. I think mainly families. I think it's a good place to bring your kids. You have books, mm -hmm. you have a cafe, uh, meet our crew. So we have all. Everybody's welcome. No age limit. And uh, Noah, yes. Uh, uh, at the same time, like uh, you said, this is the first time uh, Dulas Hope dock in Phnom Penh. Yes, correct. And also Cambodia, right? Uh, second time in Cambodia. Oh, second time yes. in Cambodia. So when was the first time? Actually? So we were in Cambodia uh, last year December until mm -hmm. this year January in Sihanoukville. Oh. Yes. And then we come back now. This is the first time we go up to the Mekong River and mm -hmm. we're in Phnom Penh. So yes. why why did you pick Phnom Penh and, and why not before? Let's say is it because of the water level? You know, it's it's shallow. Um, you're concerned about like well, running the ground or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> so our ship is quite a small vessel. Mm -hmm. So um, they bought it or they. They made it for the reasons that we can go into rivers mm. and reach cities that are more inland. So this is the first time we were able to sail up a river. And yeah. I think it's seasonal as well, the water levels and how high they are. And now it's available for us to come here. Mm -hmm. The port is available. So now it's our time to be here. Yep. Yeah. And uh, at the same time, like, so now we are walking uh, maybe across uh, the first shelf of yes. the book. So can you tell me a bit about, you know, because um, I mean, this part of uh, the bow of the ship is yeah. occupied by, I don't know, many, many shelves. So can yeah. you tell us a bit, like, what kind of uh, books are you, you know, putting on display yeah. here, let's yeah, say? Yeah, sure. So we have uh, around 2,000 different titles on display on our bookstore. Mm -hmm. And we have books for, for all ages. We have a children's section, as you can see here. As we go further, we have an adult section, more adult. relationship, business, mm. leadership. Uh, we have cook, children learning books. We have books for every age, I think. So if you come with your family, you'll find something for everybody. Uh, and you'll find things that I think are worth the money as well. So basically, what you are operating is it's like a book center on land. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a floating book store. It floats around, yeah. So it's not, it's not really a library. It's more like a book center normally. Yeah, so we call it the world's biggest floating library. Uh, biggest? Like floating. Second okay. biggest one. Second okay. biggest one. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it floats around, mm -hmm. uh, mainly Southeast Asia. And we just open up our we go. Mm -hmm. And we bring the books up for the people to buy. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so you said it's, uh, you know, a book from, uh, for young people, a book for uh, a little bit like older people. Yeah. Yeah. So normally, you know, between ports, yeah. do you like put on display the same book, or you know, you you, you like you cater to yeah. to specific port? Let's yeah. Say. So I see. So usually we have the same we have the same areas, we have mm -hmm. the same categories, but it also varies on what we have, what mm -hmm. we have available. So we have down below in the ship at the bottom we have a big area stored full of books. Oh, so, so, so yeah. those those windows are not are not no. really all for accommodation. No. So no. Mm. So we also have an area where we store books yeah, all the way yeah. at the bottom. Like under the water, actually. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so at the moment, we do have some Khmer books. So depending on the port we are in, mm -hmm. we try to bring books that would speak to the local people as well. So how do you choose uh, the Khmer book? Like, do you do research so, beforehand? Uh, we have local partners usually we work mm -hmm. with. So before we come to a port, we yeah. collaborate with local people. Mm -hmm. And they maybe provide us with books, certain books, for mm -hmm. people to buy also so we have local language. I see, I see. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, because um, you've been to many ports. And yeah, correct. I, you know, uh, I just want to ask a bit like, um, you know, uh, how do each people from each port or maybe each country like yeah. approach reading, let's say, you know, yeah, for yeah. example, compare that to Hong Kong mm. and the Philippines or Singapore and Cambodia, like uh, yeah. how different is the recognition that you normally get? Yeah, so it is different per country, it definitely differs. Mm. So our aim, I think I believe in the power of literature. I think reading is very important, even mm -hmm. if you're young, to, to be able to read, to be able to understand books. Uh, and so, for example, when we were in Hong Kong, uh, because of the different culture, the different way people are, mm -hmm. maybe it's more modern, more advanced, people buy less books. So people have more maybe electronic things. Mm -hmm. So it depends also where we are, but we try to bring books that interest people also. 
mm -hmm. to make people buy. And for example, when we were in the Philippines, we sold so many books. Okay. Uh, here also we sell a lot of books. Yeah, I think yeah. it depends on the people, the people that come on board. Um, but we believe in the power of literature and we want to bring quality literature mm -hmm. to every country. Maybe some books are less available here. Maybe mm -hmm. you cannot find them here. Maybe mm -hmm. we have them for you. And we try to make it in a best possible price for local people as well. So just to make sure a bit, so you mean like, for example, like uh, more developed countries, they don't really buy books? Less, uh, it, maybe. Le yeah. less it, book, it depends yeah. also on the person. Mm. Uh, maybe people don't like reading as much, but yeah, we still yeah. hope that we can reach them through our books. Mm -hmm. uh, so it depends. Uh, but we've had different experiences. Uh, I think here people buy a lot. Philippines was very, very busy as well. Mm. Uh, yeah, it depends on the culture of people. Um, yeah. Yeah, but but a bit of your you know uh, question on your inventory, but maybe yeah. it's okay if you if you can answer that. Yeah. So for the t uh, last ten days, uh, what yeah. what kind of book have you know you been selling the most? Uh, oh, well, I think if I look around our book fair, I think shelves are getting a bit more empty. So I think we've sold most of a lot of categories. But I'll say children's books, children's and learning book, books. Yeah. I think learning, learning English, mm. uh, writing, spelling, those kind of books. I think I've sold the most. I see. Yeah. But uh, Noah, like uh, at the same time, let's say, because I, I've been here, uh, you know, uh, several days before. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I've also been to many book centers in Cambodia, yeah. in Phnom Penh. Yeah. But, you know, when I see the book here, yeah. I'm sorry to say that, but, you know, we, we can find it more or less at bookstore. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but when I come here, I notice that, you know, even though we have it in bookstore in Cambodia, hmm. people still come here and then they still buy yeah. a lot of books. Yeah. So, do you think, is it like really about, the book itself or you know people just want to come here because they want to be on the ship, ship. Uh, maritime yeah. experience let's say yeah great question so mm -hmm. i think first of all we have a lot of books on board but i mm -hmm. think second of all what attracts the people mm -hmm. is the ship of course mm -hmm. and our crew i think we have a very international crew mm -hmm. we come from all continents of the world mm -hmm. so i think also for us uh, it's not necessarily always about the books mm -hmm. but also to connect with local people and to engage with the community and I think we have beautiful conversations on board. We also have a Hope Cafe, the area yeah, at the back. Yeah. Like, like, a, like a, the yeah. cafe of the, the ship itself. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you sit down there, have mm -hmm. a talk with people on board. I think of course we want to sell books, but it's not our main goal. So mm -hmm. we come here also to maybe engage with the people, get to know the culture, the people, and just have a good time. So I think it also attracts people to come. Mm -hmm. Because it's a ship, you know, it's something special, I think. Yeah. It's not very yeah. usual, you know. So yeah, I think that's the main reason people come on board. And of course, not many ships dock in Phnom Penh because yeah, you have a, a, exactly. like a, a bit of a shallow draft. Yeah, or something I think like actually, that, yeah. if you see the bridge here, mm -hmm. I think we cannot pass any further. Oh. So I think not many big ships come along here. Yeah. And this is probably the first time ever we have a library coming here. So I think it's also more the experience that people want to have that brings them here. Uh, yes, Noah. Yeah. But you mentioned uh, you mentioned something about you know nationalities. You said you have a diverse nationality yes, correct, here, correct, yeah. a diverse crew. Yeah. So from last time, I saw you know you are from Belgium. Yes, correct. Maybe another man from Papua New Guinea, yeah, yeah, uh, which yeah. is like a like a halfway yeah. part of the world. So yeah. why why the diversity? Like, and is it difficult to manage? You know, when you have like such a diverse yeah, so nationalities. Yeah. I, uh, I think first of all, it's one of the most beautiful things about our ship. I think. Mm is our international community. So we have people from over 30 different nationalities, 30 different countries on board. And we all come here together as a group. And I think that's what people also experience when they come on board, mm -hmm. they see the way we work together, the way we help each other, and we want to help the local community also. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful testimony for us to give to the people. That we come here together from all, all over the world, different cultures, different backgrounds. We live together, we serve the people of the country together, and we work together. I think it's very beautiful. So, um if the crew works here, they get to travel around the world, something like that? Yeah, so while well, we are on board here, we, yeah. I live below here in mm -hmm. one of the rooms, mm -hmm. uh, and we get to travel with the ship wherever it goes. Mm -hmm. So the ship Builders Hope will be focused on Southeast Asia, so oh, this region. Okay. So hopefully it'll come back one day to come But so it's focused on this region, so it'll be mainly in Asia. Yeah. So, but but I, I, I read, of course, I mean, it's from Wikipedia, so I, I don't <laughs> know if it's like uh, completely true or not. Yeah. But uh, you said, uh, they said that the ship has been to many, many ports, like uh, over a hundred port so, of call? So we have, this ship is Dulles Hope, and mm -hmm. we have a sister ship. It's called Logos Hope. Okay, so okay. We, uh, our organization owns two ships. Oh, and Logos okay. Hope is already more than, I'm not sure how many years old, but mm. at the moment it's in Africa. Mm. So it's been to many different countries. It's been in Asia, Africa, South America, North America. So it's been around many places. So mm -hmm. this one is very new. This one is one year old only. And this one is aimed at Southeast Asia. For Southeast example, Asia only, yeah. yeah, our sister ship is a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. Maybe four times bigger than this one. Oh, but okay. this one is meant to come up rivers and to reach cities that are maybe more rural or more mm -hmm. difficult to reach. And that's why we bring our quality literature to the people that maybe don't have it available around them. 
Yeah. So so far, how many ports have you visited it in in uh, in Southeast Asia? Uh, so year? last year May, we launched the ship in Singapore. Mm. So Singapore, Malaysia, uh, Thailand, okay. Cambodia, Philippines, mm. Hong Kong, and then we're here again in Cambodia. Oh. So I, I'm not sure the exact number. We've been to six different countries in total. You know, besides, let's say, uh, you know, the book display itself on the water. So, is there any yeah. activities that you do, uh, you know, outside the ship? Yeah. So, the Dulles Hope it means uh, servant of hope, sovereign of hope. Yes. So, our aim when we go to different countries is mm -hmm. to share knowledge mm -hmm. through our book fair we have here. We share knowledge. We have quality literature, books. Maybe you can find in your own li libraries. Yep. But we also need to share help. So, we have uh, practical ways of sharing help. Yeah. So yep. Every day. Our ship sends out teams mm -hmm. to local organizations, mm -hmm. local groups that do stuff. So for example, maybe we would help build a house, or we'll help clean up a beach, mm -hmm. or we'll serve the I children's see. program, the homeless children. So it really depends where we are, but we also engage with the community. So we want to bring hope and help. So you have like a, a crew standing by here, uh, operating you know, the, the, yeah. the, the so book center here? So I work, yeah. for example, here, mm -hmm. but once a week I get the opportunity to also go out. Oh, okay, so okay. I've been to a, last week I went to a children's uh, group, the homeless people mm -hmm. and we did a program with them mm -hmm. so we have many opportunities to share the help but also hope to the people that we go to so we want to engage with the local community so so what are the activities that you have done or maybe you plan to do you know before yeah. you leave for Phnom Penh next month so I, I'm in charge of that it really okay. depends so they have different things you have maybe building we have giving food to the homeless maybe we have a cleanup somewhere I'm not sure mm -hmm. but I, I last week went to a children's in the slum mm -hmm. and I was able to have a good time with them but for example, other countries have been to cleanups or help construct houses mm -hmm. or whatever they need. So we also help in practical ways. And not just the book fair, but we also go out. So every day we have teams that are going out and doing whatever is available where we can help. Yes, the one. Yeah. But uh, you know, another question uh, focusing mainly about reading, you know. Yes. Um, we are born, you know, in a, an, an era where, you know, uh, YouTube, you know, yeah, Netflix is, is very, very big right yeah. now. So, for example, novel. I yeah. saw a lot of novel here. For example, uh, practically uh, yeah. the, the 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 movie, the ga the yeah, great this one here, right? Yeah, Sherlock Holmes, the Great one. Gatsby, something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. So, you know, now it seems that it is easier to just watch movies. Yes, correct. Yeah. And you know, at the same time, you know, people still advocate to read books because they say that oh, you know, books they provide you know more sensation, hmm. more more information, yeah. more than the movie more itself. The movies, yeah, so, yeah. what do you think about that? Uh, in my opinion, I know what you're saying. I understand. Like, yeah. everything is very digital now, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, but I still believe in the power of reading, and I think by reading books, you don't only learn about stuff, but you also get to understand more. And I think for yourself, uh, maybe in different languages also to be able to read, mm -hmm. to learn languages. For me, that's how I do it. I read mm -hmm. to learn different languages. So I think it's still a power in reading, and I would still encourage people to read, especially if yeah. you're young. I think it's a big power in reading. You're reading like novels, books, to understand mm -hmm. to get more knowledge through reading. So yeah. if I if I have like a let's say a new story, yeah, and you have to pick, and you've never seen that story before, you have you have to pick you know between a movie and a book. Which yeah. one do you pick first? Let's of say. course, it's easy to pick the movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still enjoy reading. Uh, mm. And I know everything is very easy now to find online. But I also encourage people watching this, try read, you know? Mm -hmm. Read different languages, you want to learn a language, read a book. Mm -hmm. You'll see that you'll more understand more, you get more knowledge of it. So I still encourage people to read. Of course, I also like watching movies, mm -hmm. but I also read at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Noah, let's say, um, uh, the organization is called Gute Busche for, uh, for yes. Ali. So correct. it's a it's an organization based in Germany. Yes, correct. So our headquarters yeah. is in Germany. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, can you explain that uh, a bit? Maybe. So yes, uh, the owner of the ships is GBA, Gute mm -hmm. Buch So they provide the books. So we get books donated, or we buy books, usually from America, England, maybe cheaper mm -hmm. price, so we can sell them here. So usually we get containers coming from Germany, England, uh, the US, full of books. So we get them mm -hmm. here, we bring them up. So the company is run by GBA and works together with OM as well. So yeah, that's how we get the books and that's how we sell them here. So the organization mainly focuses on the book? Yes, and so they are based in Germany, the headquarters mm -hmm. in Germany, and they are in charge of our two ships. So we have this ship, and then I told you about the Logos Hope, yep, it's in yep. Africa, right? So it's the same purpose, uh, and they are in charge of that, yeah. So basically, um, how, how do you manage to pick a port? Like, do you rotate? 
Oh, uh, something well, like that. It really depends. It that depends on where we are at the moment, mm -hmm. where is it available, mm -hmm. uh, and that's not. I don't make the decisions where we go. Mm -hmm. So they decide yeah. that. I think they look at the availability. Uh, where are we at the moment? And what yeah, part of yeah. the world? And where have we not been yet? Maybe find a new port, to make it a bit more exciting, you know? So I don't decide where we go. Mm, I just okay. sleep on board and I follow. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. you, so you've been living on this ship for like a year now? So I've yeah. been in total nine months. Nine months? Yeah, I live down below. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so how, how is uh, sea travel well, from actually, your perspective? Uh, it's the first time I live on a ship, first mm -hmm. time in my life. And while we sailed from Hong Kong to come here, yep, yep. we experienced some very rough seas, like up and down. Oh, so uh, okay. it wasn't very nice. But then the other time we sailed to the Philippines, it was very nice and clam mm. waters. So it's a different way of traveling. I really enjoy it actually. Like, you know, airplanes very fast, but ship yep. is a bit more. I also enjoy. A bit more gentle, but yeah. you know, you, you, need, you get to see the you ocean. Know, get the ocean. The see dolphins, you know, oh, that really? kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's more fun way to travel. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, basically, you know, uh, in general, I know, yeah. you know, it, it has a lot of answers, but is it difficult, and I, I hope it's difficult, <laughs> uh, to operate, you know, a, a floating box center? Like, you know, you need to keep the water out, you know, you need to face the weather, yeah. and, you know, the supply chain, you know, you need to book containers, like, like you said. Yeah. Is it difficult to you or your, your crew, something so, like that? So, yeah, so at the moment in the book, we have quite a big team, mm -hmm. but we also work with local volunteers. Mm -hmm. So we have about 30 volunteers daily from Phnom Penh will mm -hmm. come and help us on board. Mm -hmm. So they can sign up and help us. So, of course, there are challenges, like here's the weather. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Last week we got, a lot of our books were damaged because of the rain that came in. Oh, so you cannot put them on sale. So yeah, yeah of yeah. course we have challenges, but we also have a big team. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we are all encouraged and believe in why we are doing this and the reason. So we keep doing it. And we have people in Germany, we have headquarters, leadership on the ship. Mm -hmm. So we work together and we, we do it to the best of our ability. Uh, we open here daily, uh, encouraged by the people that come on board, mm -hmm. happy to see their faces, smiling. Uh, so yeah, that encourages us. We believe that we are here for the right reason. And uh, despite the challenges, we should open up for the public. Yeah. And uh, between Kampot, I, I, you, oh sorry, you, between Seadukville, you talk at Seadukville before and yeah. Kampot, so uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you have been here for 10 days, yeah. you still have a lot of days more. Yes, but um, how, how is it like the differences, like let's so, say? So I think here it's more busy. More people come ah, on board. Okay, okay. Uh, Sianukville, uh, we are open, I think, also for around one month, mm -hmm. but we never reached that many visitors. It was very much more quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, so here, I definitely experienced more customers come on board. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just two very different cities, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, different yeah. culture, different people that live there. So yeah, we had a great time there as well, but here it's more busy. So, so, so you come to Phnom Penh crossing yeah. uh, Ho Chi Minh City? Yes. Yeah, so we crossed the Mekong River from Vietnam into from the Mekong Delta. Yes, yeah, correct. And yeah. Ho Chi Minh City, and then up. So oh, we yeah. came, yeah, through Vietnam mm -hmm. to Cambodia. We didn't ah, stop in Vietnam. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. Yep. So uh, do you have plan to visit Cambodia again, let's say, in the future? Well, after yeah. this, we're going back to mm -hmm. Singapore. Um, yeah, yeah. But I think because the ship is mainly focused for this region of the world, mm -hmm. we'll be back. Uh, mm -hmm. I cannot give you a date or a yeah, time, yeah. but I'm sure we'll be willing to come back. And it'll yeah. be a different crew that time, different people. I'll probably be gone by then. We have a new team, new books, so we'll definitely come back. So I hope maybe you can go up to uh, Siem Reap, you know, because uh, there's a very big population there also. But yeah. I cannot say if you know the water level yeah, so can I'm can accommodate sure. or not. Yeah, I, I don't know if we can reach through this bridge. I don't uh, know. Yeah, yeah. So I, th okay. I think for now, this is probably the furthest we can come into Cambodia. Mm. Uh, yeah. So sometime the next, sometime the destination that you want to visit will be barricaded by the physicality of the ship. Yes, itself. I mean of course. Yeah, yeah. It depends on season also, mm. it depends on paperwork, the availability of a port, mm -hmm. all things depend on, I, I don't know about all the factors, but I know that sometimes it's difficult. And I think to be here, we are very lucky and privileged now to be in Phnom Penh, and we're going to make the best of our time here. Yeah. So after this, you will, you will visit uh, Singapore? Yes, so we'll go back yeah. to the place we launched, launched last year Singapore. Oh, we'll be okay. back here. Yeah. So one month over there also, let's say? Uh, I think, yeah, three weeks to yeah. one month, yeah.